So how many pounds of muscle can someone gain in a year on average, Mo? Foods for bulking. Oh, that's a great one. <laughs> Everyone's freaked out about fasting. Oh, what? So, what are they freaked out about? I don't know. The reason why I didn't have her fast, so you guys understand, I go, well, she didn't fast. Uh, she is prone to diabetes uh, in the family. And Foods for bulking. Oh, that's a great one. Foods for bulking, guys. Todd! Yeah. Let's bring the resident yeah. food expert in here. The guy that gets you the food to help you bulk. What's up? They Can want to know what foods they should be eating for bulking. The question over here for you guys is best foods or foods for bulking. What is the best thing for bulking? So can we, can we first of all say there are foods that are made for bulking and made for cutting? These foods were made for bulking. <laughs> that's, that's just what they'll do. do. I think many people one of these days when they his think foods are gonna yeah. bulk all over. Here. I think many people <laughs> get confused because when they say bulking, right? They can they just believe more calories. So that's like, hey, Big Macs, whatever can fit in my mouth. I think once you understand that the different foods, especially whole foods, have different breakdown and different um, elements of um, the macros, micros, etc. I, I think what the the best thing is to up that protein, clean protein sources. So. Um, let's say you're eating six ounces today, right? You up that to more, but then on the carbohydrates as well, you're going to take in, let's say, more sweet potato, more of your, your rices, different things. And you might take a, uh, a few other elements that you're not going to take in a cutting section because you are going to use those carbs to not only just burn energy, but then also store as well a little bit. So, you, so. so there, there is a difference on foods? There's foods you should eat to bulk and there's foods you should eat to cut? I, I wouldn't say necessarily, but I would pull processed foods a lot of the time let's let's you let's us stay with us in the sense of we know that we're not gonna we're just talking basics because we don't do processed foods sure. you know so us three yeah so to answer your question for me uh you ask it, what foods for bulking there is no foods for bulking it's calories sure. it, it's calories, cal it's calories. yeah it, there's no such thing you can bulk or cut on steak. You can bulk or cut on fish. You can bulk or cut on potatoes. What you can't do is be an idiot and think that you should, uh, what you guys call, um, not have a nutrition plan and put on size or not have a nutrition plan and get cut up. Now you're just an idiot. Um, and that's why, who was talking about this the other day? Somebody was talking about this. You're, you're one of the guys you train with a lot. Real, very motivational, does a lot of speeches. But he was talking about time is money, money is time. And, uh, and his, the point is great because we'd spend all day Sunday cooking the meals for the next three days and then you, during the week. Yeah. And you can't give up the time for that. Um, get on a nutrition plan. The easiest way to do it is eat a healthy meals like with Todd's icons. And uh, you guys kick out something for them, right? As far as like if, if somebody box. wants to... Do you have a bulking box? Yes, yeah, so we have, well, we don't, but we have lean boxes, we have Tito boxes, we have chef samplers, and which will give you Maybe sort we of- should do a bulking we box. Do a box. Oh, we should do that. Yeah. Do it. I just did. That's it. I You're just, welcome. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you. You're so right you will be able to, in the next three weeks, go on over to Icon's um, page, and uh, we're going to do a little um, Bulking box, get these foods to the put on size, and then here, get these meals to lean up. You want to work with us on that? Absolutely. That? So we'll, we'll put that together and do a little page, and then we'll kind of talk to you guys about how to do, to do that and give you the funnel to get in there to get you going on nutrition. Side note, this is the beauty of being around people that elevate your game. We like just came you, up with you something. You just, like, ah. you get stuff done even when you're not intending to get something done. I, I love when my friends call me up and say, hey, let's just hang out, let's go somewhere and let's brainstorm for a while and let's just think of something and, and you create and you do this. So you're having, do you train abs individually? I don't train abs. Uh, I train abs, like these guys will know, once or twice for one month out of the year. Yeah, but it does it. enough reps to last the entire year yeah. in 30 so, days. This is something I want to say to everybody here. Does everybody think that you can train abs to get a small waist? So if you train arms, what happens with arms? If you train arms, do they get bigger? Do they get more muscular? You train chest, it gets bigger and it gets more muscular? Calves? So if you train abs, you actually think it reverses and gets smaller? 
That's why on the 30 day blitz, what I did was I put a pre program together to overtrain it like a sprinter. Mm -hmm. That we train those abs so much for one month out of the year to make the waist smaller and tighter and actually overtrain. We're now using overtraining as a method to get a smaller waist and tighten up. Um, and I think that with most of you guys think that you should train abs all the time. You're just building the muscles. That's why I never train abs. What supplement do you prefer? Number one. Number one, joint support. That way I can lift. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're not gonna stop training because of muscle aches or injuries. You're gonna stop training because of bone aches and joint issues. Agreed? Yeah, especially when it's cold out and you get older, like this stuff is real. Like you feel it's like, oh, I feel it in my bones. So doing, Mike had referenced earlier how important weight training and resistance training is for women specifically because of bone mass density. Mom? And, uh, I want to go to the restroom. Okay. Keep going, please. So how many pounds of muscle can someone gain in a year on average, Mo? Wow, not a lot. Yeah. And let me say that, not a lot. Maybe um, I've heard six pounds, like, is the most I've ever heard. I never even, oh, yeah, maybe you heard that. I've yeah. never seen anyone putting six pounds of muscle in So. In one year, that's a lot of muscle. So from your perspective, I want to talk about this for a second. Yeah. The last time I was, was up here, Mike uh -huh. was big. I mean, and I left here thinking... Is he ever going to get back in shape? Honestly, I was concerned, right? Because he was huge. And I've seen him come in and out of shape, but we were doing the blitz, and I'm like, wow, is, is he going to come back? He, he, not only did he come back, but what what is that process like on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, see, what? let me say this. That's how big Mike was. Mike. Always oh, yeah. Oh. Round, right? I what know exactly how big Mike was. That's what was. I'm talking about. <laughs> so I do like Mike when he's eating more food. You like bigger. him bigger? It's not, I'm not saying physically, I just mind. mentally. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, that, there you go. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> his mind is in a happy place, he's eating food, um, every, but I, I could say this, he's been in shape more than he's ever been since we've been dating, because I, the way I cook, the way I do stuff, so, you know, he kind of stays cleaner on his foods, uh, and his high days are like good calories high days, right. it's not like you know, process uh, a canned food and what he used to eat back in the day. So, otherwise it would have been 400 pounds. Luckily for you, I mean, <laughs> honestly, but, you elevated his game. Yeah. But, um, when Mike gets in shape, yeah, the, the mindset is so different, as you probably know, because you've known him for so long. Mm -hmm. um, he's just on the blitz guy. Who does the blitz here? Anybody's doing the blitz. You, 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 it's days for no reason that you just get up and you're frustrated. Yeah, it, it, it definitely puts you through a mental challenge as well oh as a physical gosh. challenge. I'm like, why are you so frustrated? You just woke up, nobody said anything to you. <laughs> you know? It's like you breathe next to him. It's like, why are you breathing? You know, it's just that type of frustration. So it's just the mind is a very, very powerful thing. And what the diet could do to you, not only physically, but mentally, it's insane. And How I do you put up with it? How do you? You just kind of block I, it out. I, I just don't care what he yeah. thinks and what he says. I don't care about anything that Mike ever says. Because if I did, I wouldn't be here. Hey, yeah. So he could get up one day and like go out of his mind, and I'll be like, okay, I'll be right back. Keep that thought, and I'm out. And then I'll come back later, and he's like, where, where did you go? Or he would text me, hey, where are you? Oh, you know, just running errands. I excused myself <laughs> yeah. from the situation. Yeah. And you just get, you have to do that. You just can't, and you can't complain about everything. I see my girlfriend, oh, he left, you know, the clothes on the floor. Oh, he didn't do this. Oh, you can't complain about it. I just, I'm a doer, I'm like you. So I just, I just do it. You know, if I see stuff on the floor, I pick it up, I put it away. Imagine if now I start complaining about it. What is that gonna do? Nothing. Exactly. You think it's gonna change? No. No, exactly. So I might as well not complain about it, so. There's we, words of wisdom right there. We're not talking about you. From, everyone's <laughs> freaked out about fasting. Oh, what? So, what are they freaked out about? I don't know. They're so. I'm gonna. Just they overcomplicate it for one. Okay. Right. So I'm not talking intermittent fasting. Here's here's my definition of fasting. You wake up in the morning and you don't eat all damn day, and you go to sleep. You wake up the next day and you break your fast with breakfast or your first meal. That's it. I don't do 18 on, six off, 12 on, mm. three off. It's, you know what's funny? 
We wrote out the program, the 30-day mm -hmm. blitz, mm -hmm. and people are dumb enough that they would go, okay, cool, I got the program. Pretty self-explanatory. And they'd come back and go, so uh, I'll start eating, I guess, at 9? I give you the plan. It yeah. says it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, blitzers, you know, Larry. The blitzers, no. Uh, Monday and Thursdays are tough. Yeah. Because Sunday night, that's it. Yeah. You don't get a meal until Tuesday morning. Wednesday night's tough because you don't get a meal until Friday morning. There you go. Did now, you here's the thing it? about blitz, uh, fast days. It is 100% coming from a guy that believes in eating, believes in carbohydrates, believes in lifting heavy for a lifetime. Fasting is 100% different than what you think it will be. It's yep. not hard. No. It's really easy. Um, it's easier to fast on a day. Your mindset is better. Yeah, once people start trying to... And you turn it. out liking it. Much you, I've had so many guys like not want to do it, and then they come to me three days into it, like uh -huh. their third time. Well, this is not that hard, and I like it's it, not mental hard. clarity. It's also a big reset GI. What about That's losing right. muscle and like well, I'm, go I'm going that. back and forth let's with a trainer that. right no. now is who's saying I'm not going to have my client work out on his fast day. Be okay, because I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying to tell him that there's going to be a huge approach. And that Whitney Reed called me when I gave him the plan, yeah. and he goes, "This is so you. This is so you. Of course you'd give leg day on fast yeah. days. Yeah. You'd give me the hardest day on the day that's the hardest feeding. Yeah. Right." Exactly, because that's our mindset. Yep. That's how we believe. Do and this the is the shit. problem with this trainer going, no, we're going to cut back, so we're going to baby you. No, go harder. Because of the fact of this, for you guys that worry about losing muscle, the 30-day blitz, I put enough protein into you that you're fine. Yeah. And I also tested the plan over a year and a half ago, and I tested it on <clears throat> her. The freak of nature. A... a gifted pro athlete who is dense and works off of carbohydrates, Heath Evans, and myself, um, and, and we all did the same amount, meaning Mona did the same amount of protein as us. I didn't have her fast. So I ate more food. So she ate more food than us. Mm -hmm. And when this whole program ended, we were all up in muscle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I was also leaner. stronger. And I was you, stronger. You were freaky. So because I increased my protein, because my meals usually was like six ounces through the day. You know, I eat a lot of carbs and whatever. Finish, when I did I'll the blitz, the okay. when I when I did the blitz, I increased my protein anywhere to eight to ten ounces. Yeah. And I got so much stronger, and I I kept my strength. Now the reason why I didn't have her fast, so you guys understand, go well. She didn't fast. Uh, she is prone to diabetes uh, in the family, and so I didn't want to uh, at any point. Um, pull her away from carbohydrates to that extreme or food to that extreme because um, we're still thinking about the future for her. Also, she just came off of pregnancy as well. So that was another thing. So that's why we didn't ever do it. But again, I'm talking about a, a mid-40-year-old woman eating 350 grams of protein and she put on seven pounds of muscle after having the baby. Now, for you guys that are freaking out, do you guys know what memory muscle is? We all do. And this is something I just talked to a fireman yesterday and I called him up and I said, I'm not going to train you anymore because you're a pain in the freaking ass. You're complaining about everything. You started I love, going, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, does, I don't want to eat chicken anymore. I'm sick yeah. of it. I don't give a shit. You're yeah. fat. Yeah. But I don't want to get small. I want to start putting on size now and we're dieting down. I go, we're well, putting on size. Fat. You're still fat. Yeah. Well, I know, but I don't want to be too, you're fat. Shut up. Yeah. I don't care what your body weight yeah. is. I don't care what this yeah. is. You're fat right now. Let's get you in shape. I go, I understand mentally what you guys think. I understand mentally this trainer that you're talking yeah. to goes, I'm not going to have her train that day. Do it. Because mentally, you become something more. That's the number one reason I give my guys when they say, why do you have me fast? It's not, I don't have any scientific research to back it up. I don't have any spiritual reasons to do it. I want my guys to be disciplined because we've all heard it said, I don't have the discipline, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I don't have the whatever. And, and none of that is true. No. You, know? yeah, you just it, have to create, uh, to make time. The most savage people <clears throat> all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. We all have enough time. Yeah. It's just what's your priority. Priorities is what it is. So, and, 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 let me ask you this, because I know that yeah. you, guys, you guys look great for your age, but you guys also look great 
It doesn't matter what age you are. Yeah. I've seen you guys, and I and I hate that when you guys out there go, oh, he looks good for mid fifties. He looks good for his forties. Or Mona looks good for. Listen, they look good for twenty years old. I mean, th- th- that's the truth of it. Todd just did this blitz, and, and and Clark was sending photos going, Mike, let me see yours. And I'm like, I ain't showing you shit. <laughs> <laughs> These guys no, were ripped. They were, I remember. Oh. You're like, they're sending the pictures. I'm not sending them. <laughs> I ain't sending <laughs> shit. These guys are incredible. 